um, or, or TBR for short. And what we do, um, we help small business owners grow their businesses, then optimize and then scale them. Uh, and we do that by helping them with educational products, uh, both free and you know, pay uh, courses, that sort of thing, business coaching, which is sort of my specialty at, at the company. Uh, and then we do also uh, cold calling for B2B, um, appointment setting, lead generation, that sort of thing, social media work, social media management, uh, a few other things. It just helps small business owners in, in those three areas. But um, I know I've got about 10 minutes here, so I want to give a couple options. First, um, I can tell you more about how great we are and how long we've been in business and my life story, or I can teach you something cool. So, <laughs> cool. Something, cool. Something, cool. something cool. Okay, I thought so. Uh, more fun for me anyway. Um, well, first of all, who uh, who in here are, are my salespeople that, like, you just love to sell. Like, you get up in the morning and you're like, I cannot wait to cold call that prospect and I am all over it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, there's probably more in this room than average for most business meetings as well. So, because uh, 99% of the public does not like to sell. Uh, and I would say that that's because um, they've been taught wrong. But, and who are my people who are like, eh, you know, I can do it because I have to, but, you know, if I got a better thing to do that day and avoid that prospect, you know, or you flat out hate it, who, who are those people? Okay, who's not going to raise your hand no matter what I say? <laughs> okay, that's everybody. Okay. Um, no, um, you know, as a side note, I was, I was thinking the other day, have, have you guys, um, any of you seen that, that Top Gun 2 movie, the one that came out last summer? Okay, yeah, I, a good movie. I thought, you know, it got good reviews and stuff. But um, I, uh, I took my daughter to see it. I'm not really big into flying or pilots or, you know, that's the whole thing. And, uh, but, you know, just like my little temporary tattoo that's coming off here, uh, you do things for your kids. But so I took her to go see it, and um, as I said, was a little interested in the, you know, good movie and everything. I came home, and uh, my wife, of course, asked, you know, well, how was the movie? And I said, jeez, uh, honey, th this movie was actually really good. You know I didn't want to go see this. I was just doing it because I had to, because you told me I had to. Um, and uh, But I came out of that movie, and it was fantastic. I mean, uh, I would really recommend it. I mean, it started out Tom Cruise's doing his little cameo before and talking about how they don't didn't use CGI very much and how it was, you know, the planes were real F-16s or whatever they were and all this kind of stuff. You know, the, and then the title screen comes up and the music it just got chills. You know, made me think about the original when I was probably like 15 or something, what is it, 35 years or something ago. And um, so you really got to go see this movie. And, you know, it was decent acting with these young actors, you know, a decent storyline. And, you know, just, uh, I was really surprised this was a great movie. Um, and uh, you know we should totally go see. I'll go see it with you if you want to go see it. You know on Friday um, it's going to be in the IMAX for the last time, and they've got showings in the morning, so we can do it when the kids are at school or at night. You know which? What do you think is better, the nighttime? Okay, great. So of course um, you guys didn't come here to get my movie reviews, but everybody here, my guests, you've told a friend about a movie or an experience, an event that you went to. Maybe you weren't that enthused to go to it first, but you were really surprised. And you go, wow, this was, <laughs> I like this. You totally changed your mind about it. And then you started telling your friends about it. Tell your spouse about it. Tell, you know, your colleagues about it. Am I right? I mean, right. have you guys done that? I, I would say, well, raise your hand or not, 100% of you have. So, um, and uh, that right there is an example to show you that every single one of us knows how to sell. Because selling is actually very simple. It's not difficult like people make it out to be. In fact, if somebody tells you that selling is complex, it's selling you something. Um, so look, think about what I just told you about that movie. What was the first thing I did? I told you about my wife and, and how she's got to go see this movie. I created some excitement, got her to pay attention to me because she's like, wow, he didn't want to see this. But he came out of it going, wow, you know. And then I told her a little bit of the story, how I went through and you know, I kind of changed my opinion of things based upon what I saw in the way of the story, if you will. And then finally, all I did was say, hey, you know, this is, now that you understand how cool this is, don't you want to go do it? You know, and you've got to do it now, though, because, you know, it's going to go out of the theater. So I gave her a reason to act. And those three things, it's very simple. It's called the HSC model. It's a hook, meaning getting somebody's attention. It's telling them a story that helps them shift their beliefs a little bit. And then it's helping them uh, with the close, which is all you're doing is really helping them to sort of push them forward a little bit, giving them a reason to act right now. And so next time that you're 
talking to a prospect or you're you know thinking oh geez i gotta go talk to this person or whatever just think simply what's going to get their attention and then what kind of story can i tell them like Dan's great with this um what kind of story can i tell them that's going to show them maybe about a past customer i had or some experience that's going to help them see what it's like to after they use your product or your service and then you got to give them a reason to act right now and not wait around and procrastinate but you do those three simple things and you can sell anything it doesn't matter if it's a two million dollar contract it doesn't matter if it's a, a twenty dollar item same process so use that next time you go out uh, when you're trying to sell something i think you guys will dig it so anyway robert pool with uh, tbr and uh, appreciate your time today nice. well, thank you, robert.